Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Moxina, or in Taiwanese it's pronounced Mo Sin Na. Now, in Taiwanese folklore, this is a ghost that takes a childlike appearance and hypnotizes its target, leading it into a forest. I think in this game I'm going to be playing its target. If you want to be its target as well, look down below in the description, the links and the details are down there, and if you do want to get this for yourselves, it is quite cheap. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, but let's begin a new game, shall we? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, be careful of the Moxina. Yes, I will. <laughs> I will. Here we go. Alright, and here we are. Damn it, I lost all my money to those guys. Time to get back and rest. What guys? Are you bullied on the way home or something? Either way, it seems like we're going home, which I guess is going to be this way. So, I need to get that lamp, apparently. Okay, it's an oil lamp. And that's going to be the bottle of oil for it, I suppose. Okay. Right, so, uh, let's see. Here? The door seems to be locked from the other side. Ah, right, okay. Here? I think I'm basically trying to break into people's homes. Yeah. What does that say? Huang's house. Oh, okay. I, I guess I'm not Huang. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> around here then? Shit house rats. And who's this guy? The fuck? Is there a hole in the ceiling? And yeah, who's there? Is that Mr. Huang? Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking hell, he's quick. Again? Blackout? But what was that? That was a very fast Mr. Huang, running back home. Must have left the oven on. What does this mean? I wish I could get a translation for it. I can't read it, unfortunately. This as well. Is that written in blood? Anyway. Uh, this way? Oh, this might be mine. Right, the door's locked. I need to find the key. Do I keep a spare under the... non-existent plant pot nearby? <laughs> I guess not. Behind the box? That really is a hole in the ceiling, isn't it? When you find your money, please find somewhere else to live. Okay, I see a vent. Okay, we can jump, right? Okay. Ah, there we go. We can crouch as well. This is reminding me a lot of Silence Channel, actually, that I played a couple of weeks ago now. Okay. Down it goes. Ah, well, there might not be a key here. Oh, there is a key here. <laughs> a giant key. A giant door key. Yeah, but I was going to say, I might be able to sort out the electricity. Right. Okay. Uh, it's still fairly dark, so, yeah, I'm glad I've got this oil lamp. Right, so... Oh, the door seems to be locked from the other side, so let's get back, shall we? There we are. A little bit of platforming to get us started. Yeah, alright. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna wade through the water at my front door. <laughs> Which everyone does, I'm sure. But there we go. Home sweet home? Finally! I'm so tired. Useless thing. Can't even help me win some money. This shrine? Right, these are the offerings, are they? I got an apple, a pear, and another apple. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. No wonder it's not working. Uh, okay. Buddha? Yep, Buddha. And this is one of those games where you can have a 360 degree look at everything, which is quite nice. See all the details. Right, so let's see. What do we got? Uh, that sounds quite English to me. Guess we can't open cupboards and drawers and stuff like that. Uh, we've got a, a newspaper here. This is going to be tough to read. Oh no, no it's not. March 30th, 2019. The man surnamed Huang was found in the grass next to the Digong Temple in the forest 14 days after his disappearance. The man was unclothed when he was found and lying naked in the grass unconsciously. He's currently being treated in hospital for his frailty. 3 a.m. on the 16th of March, a public... Re a, a public? 
a member of the public, reported in the South that his father had lost contact for several hours and had not returned. The police immediately went to the place of residence. Through monitoring and investigation, it was found that his last figure appeared near a forest. The fire brigade and rescuers were sent to assist in the search the next day, but nothing was found. The search and rescue continued until 14 days later, on March 30th, when a man named Huang was found in the grass next to Digon Temple in the forest garden on the mountain. Fair enough. Okay. And then today he was at my front door as he ran back to his home. Uh, okay, that... What was that icon for exactly? Like I could pick something up? It's gone now. But I'm noticing there's someone at the window. Hi. Huh. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Um... Okay. Ah, the toilet. Can we use it? We cannot. Never mind. I guess this is going to be a terrible indie horror game after all. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Okay, right. I don't know if I actually need this out. No. Phone's not working? No? Okay. Of course it's not. What have we got here? Oh, I've got a Moxina tape, and I don't remember having this tape. Right, well... I suppose we've got to play it, haven't we? It's titled Monster at Woods, right? <laughs> yes, I, I know the tape. I've used this in many games. Play. Yeah, that's it. The footage from 1986. Is that... Oh. Oh. Oh! We got crows? What the hell? What's happening? Whoa. Okay. Well, I didn't manage to avoid Moxina. Right. Um, yep. I'm her new target now. Okay, so, uh, don't get lost in the woods. You might not be able to come back anymore. Alright. Okay. Straight to the forest. Where am I? In the middle of nowhere, by the looks of it. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> investigate the forest. Yeah. Ah, my head. I don't remember how I got here. Oh, looks like there's someone ahead of me. Oh, there's, there's some people ahead of me, actually. I don't know if they're friendly. I might try and avoid them. Yeah, what the hell is that? Well, that's a new objective. It's telling me to follow the light. Can I just, like, climb some rocks here? Yeah. Right. Looks like they haven't seen me. Let's keep it that way, shall we? Get oh, no, an invisible barrier's here. Shit, okay. Um. That signifies that I probably should be running right now, you know? Like, this is going to be a chase kind of thing. Maybe I should go. I'm going. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Whoop. Yep. <laughs> Whoop. All right. This way. This way. Hopefully I don't run into any more invisible barriers. But when it says follow the light, I assume I'm following... Yeah, I'm following the lights of Buddha. I'm following these candles. I'm following these statues. Right. Up and over. Okay. Okay. Right. I think I lost them. <laughs> it just gets bigger and bigger, doesn't he? Right. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a goofy, very rough around the edges game so far, but uh, let's keep on going, shall we? Look at this. Ah, objective updated. Okay, I've got a secondary objective, which is nothing. Great. <laughs> Am I hearing invisible birds right now? Maybe they're all congregating on that tree. Oh no, no, they're just really, really high. Yeah, this is a pretty cool visual, actually. What's that through the rock? A shrine? A temple? Something like that? Let's go take a look. Okay. It's updated again. To nothing! I now have absolutely no objective. I guess I'm done investigating the forest. But right. A temple? Yeah. Kinda looks like one, doesn't it? 
Right. Any hints? Any tips, Buddha? Anything around here? No. Hmm. Well, if Moxina dragged me here, this is probably not a place I want to worship at, you know? But let's take a look. Maybe I can find a map that will lead me back to uh, where I live. I don't know. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Uh, don't know. Ah, oh, the door's locked, so again, we need to find a key. Uh, so let's see. Let's go... Let's go left. Because left is right, after all. Ooh. Moxina, I assume. Alright. She's running around. This is her area. This is her turf. Okay. Yeah, what do you want from me? Very good question. I think, traditionally, uh, as the folklore states, Moxina tries to lure you to a forest and then feeds you excrement and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, maybe I'm just going to eat shit, essentially. Can we go in here? I don't know if that door is entirely real. Oh, and again, invisible barriers, be damned. Right, this way. Yeah, this looks far more legit. Hey, hey, how's it going? What's this? Okay, I've picked up medicine. All right. Oh, and I've seen a box like this before. Oh, it's a little lockbox, right. So, what's in the old chest? What's it gonna be? Uh, no idea. But it's not 435, apparently. Um, any ideas, guys? Any clues? Is the key gonna be inside? It probably will be, right? Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be that kind of thing. Don't know if there's anything back there, to be honest. Right, let's go the other way. Yeah, let's just go straight on to the other side, and maybe that's where I'm gonna find a combination. Or the key, maybe. I don't know. Right. Still got this. Obviously, don't need it. So, uh, just gonna put that away. <laughs> the pop-in's a little bit extreme, to be honest, with, well, with everything. So, again, can't get in there. Hey, oh, what was that? Oh, there's blood on the wall now. What have we got here? Okay, more oil for the uh, the oil lamp. Dead. That's what that means, is it? Oh, okay, that maybe means dead. I don't know. Four, four, four? Maybe? I could try it. Alright, can we go inside? Uh, that would be a no, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's loud. Okay, um, well, I didn't find a great deal, quite honestly. I, I'm hoping that it is indeed 444. Oh wow, it's not just blood on the wall. Blood of previous victims, maybe? Oh, it's all over the place. Alright, back this way. Let's try 444. Let's see if that works. Here we are. Right, so. Um, bloody hell. I was really close just fiddling around with it, honestly. Uh, so. Inside we find... Wouldn't you believe it, it's a key. It's a door key! Brilliant, okay, well, that is going to be for the door back here, right? Because I don't see any other door to unlock with it. So, is this going to get us even deeper into the temple, or is it going to take us back home, or what? to the bell. Sounds like Big Ben, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... We've got a well over here. Two wells, in fact. Right next to each other. Interesting. Can we? No? Anything in the bucket? Nope. Okay. 
Uh, it seems like the exit's blocked. I, I need to find a way to move the bell. Oh, this one? Right, yeah. Probably a little bit too heavy to lift, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's going to take us to another set of stairs. We're going to go even higher. What's that? Is that a valve? How, uh, how do I do with water in this game? To be honest, I went through the flooded corridor. I should be fine. Okay. Well, that obviously didn't drain the water, but perhaps it raised the bell? You right there? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it did. Please do not drop. Okay, right, we are making some progress, I think. All right. Uh, what have we got here? Uh-huh. I have a chair much like that at my home. Okay. Uh, yet more oil. Gauze as well. Uh, am I supposed to be taking loads of damage here? Oh, and of course, there's a brain in a bowl. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't really fancy that, honestly. Okay. Looks safe. Looks like I should be able to go, but oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Barely noticed him. Right, let's get out and uh, let's have a little look, shall we? This way? I mean, whoa. Okay. Is, is that her? Is that Messina? Oh. Uh, okay. Did she just, like... Whoa. That's creepy as fuck, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I think she just, like, sort of teleports around. And she is actually doing damage to me. I can barely tell, but yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Right, what the hell is this? This has got to be the biggest tree trunk in existence. Right. Okay, um, I picked up some medicine, didn't I? And some gauze and stuff? That does 15 HP. 40 HP, now we're talking. Yeah. And these... Oh, this is... Okay, the apple is actually 5 HP, so perfect. Back to 100, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I barely noticed I was being attacked there, really. Hmm, yeah, this, this game's got some issues. It needs a lot of work, I think. But is it going to be a terrible indie horror game? Oh boy. Uh... I guess we'll see. Right. What? Funeral 1. Be nice to people around you. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It's kind of all over the place, isn't it? Okay. Dream? My father's funeral. So quiet. No friends, no family came to visit. Okay, we got a couple more pears and an apple. Huh. It's Oogie Boogie from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Through here? No, no, the door is locked. This one? Door's open, actually. Okay. Surprise, su <laughs> surprise, surprise, okay. I am getting jumped occasionally, I suppose. A little bit startled here and there. Okay, uh, yeah, more petrol oil. And what does this say? Thank you for being my scapegoat. You're welcome. Oh, it's covered in blood as well. And what's on the radio? Some western broadcast, I think. <laughs> Let's just turn that off. Ooh, glass coffin. Wait, that's my dad? He's a mannequin? Will it be the same when I'm dead? Well, maybe. Will you have abs like that? Oof. Right. Okay, you know what? Seems like we're going into a dark area again. Let's see if we can combine, I suppose. That's it. Did that? Oh, it did do something. Good, good, good. Right, so through here? Ah, oh, the door's locked. And no key this time? I don't think so. Uh, round here? Round the side? Okay. 
No one would notice when I'm gone. Oh, that's sad. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I got a little wave. God, yeah, this is a very goofy game. I'm quite enjoying it though, because I'm like, whoa, because I'm laughing at it. But it is startling me occasionally. Right, I'm paying very close attention to the bottom left. Oh boy. And yeah, I mean, I can't tell when I'm getting attacked, so I've got to look at that number down there. Okay, so funeral underscore two. Be careful of being tricked. Oh, what? Back at the forest again. Oh, Christ. Okay, um... So, what are we doing? Looks like there's some scaffolding down there. Okay, apparently I need to follow the river, so of course I'm gonna go straight into the trees. Oh, come on! <laughs> no fun allowed with this game, I'm afraid. Right, probably don't need this, really. I'm starving. Oh, really? What we got here? Well, to be honest, if you're starving, I picked up some fruit and stuff, right? But I can't use it because I'm at full health, I suppose. Food? Mm, I don't think it's quite as it seems. No. Oh boy. Oh shit. Okay, alright, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Um, I think that was me eating shit, essentially. Yeah. Alright, you got your wish. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think I just realized what I ate. Oh, damn. Face planted the floor as well. I. No, I didn't. Or did. Did I? I <laughs> I'm not really sure. Okay, can't go that way. Uh. What just happened there? Maybe I just passed out for a while? And look at the pop-in with these trees, seriously. Discover the end of the woods. Well, I'm... <laughs> I think I'm at the end and then more pop up. Right. Yeah, that that seems a little excessive, really. Maybe the, uh, the sort of draw distance should be a little bit further. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know what to make of this, to be honest. I'm kind of having fun, but I'm... I'm just sort of laughing at the game a little bit. Up here? Right. Yeah, I, I, at this point, I would say, at the very least, wait for a sale. Don't get this for yourselves. Alright, the objective is now, again, nothing. Yeah, it's stuff like that. It's just, it, a lot of this seems very unpolished. Okay, and this is what? A fun fair now. A place supposed to be full of joy. Okay. Right. I don't need the oil lamp anymore. Uh, this must be an illusion again. Don't be scared. I, I couldn't possibly be scared at a fun fair. Can we take some of this? I mean, <laughs> this is all dreamlike food, isn't it, really? I oh, hang on. More oil, okay. Anything else? Oh yeah. Is that a, it's a can. It's a fish can. What's the fish can for? Oh again, it's for HP, fair enough. So the oil bottle you can combine with a herb to make herbal medicine. Okay. That's um pretty in depth. I wasn't expecting the game to do this. That looks like a very unsafe ride. I kind of want to see someone get on it. It's probably going to be me, actually. Oh my god, look at this roller coaster. That's the sort of shit I designed in. Whoa! Roller coaster tycoon, hello. God damn. She's always with me. Oh. Oh, it, maybe this is actually how it looks. Shit, where did my resources go? Oh, well, they went the way of the objective, I suppose. Just disappeared. What the fuck is going on? That thing took all of my resources. Damn it! And now we have, like, giant crawling babies on the floor. Right. 
This is a very peculiar game. <laughs> it's different, you know? It, it's different. Seems like the only way out is through that elevator. So I can't ride the... No, I, I don't think I can ride that. I probably shouldn't. This is the elevator? Over here? Right, excuse me. Uh... Oh, I need to switch on the electricity. Fair enough. Um, is there a cable I can follow? Or Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, I mean, they're probably still enemies, right? They're probably still going to try and hurt me, so I should probably stay away. Uh, over here, maybe? Maybe I can get on the Ferris wheel or something, you know? Maybe... Pff, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know. Alright. That's just a, a backdrop for something. Something over here, maybe? No, nothing there. Oh, here we go. Yep, okay, we got like a, a breaker box or something? Yes. That. Whoa, jeez. Fucking hell. She came out of fucking nowhere. Okay, right, just run through the trees. Just got to get to the elevator, right? 59 HP. What an odd amount of HP to lose as well. God damn, there's a crowd of people waiting. Yeah, sorry guys, I think I'm going to jump the queue. Okay. Yeah, sorry, this is uh, this is one person only. And it looks like Maxine is not with me. Good. Right, okay. Time to heal. Oh, wait, I can't, can I? Because she took all my resources. That bitch. Right. Um, okay. Looks like people are walking around up here. That might not be for the best, honestly. Yeah. Anything in there? Uh, I don't know. Did you just walk through the wall? I think you did, didn't you? Yeah. God damn, this game needs a lot of work. This feels like a, a framework for a game, like a prototype that was released. And there's some things that are maybe finished, but most of it is just... Yeah, most of it is just like this, I guess, you know? Oh boy. Well, when this is over, I'm going back to Resident Evil Village, which is a, a much better game. <laughs> it's so much, it's so much better produced, more polished, more interesting, more fun. But then the budget was like, I don't know, a million times more than this, probably. I'm not just going back into the forest, am I? Oh no! I got to get out of this somehow. Right, up and over. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Most of this is kind of like borderline incomprehensible to me. <laughs> Under here? Right. To... A giant tree? Not quite Yggdrasil level, but... Wow, okay. A giant mangrove or something? I don't even know, but... It's got a couple of neat visuals, a couple of neat locations. I'll give it that. Yeah. I guess we're going through. We're going inside. Yeah. Towards where the noise is coming from. Uh, and now it's sewerage. Just very abruptly, the nightmare begins from here. Ah, oh, so this is where the horror starts. Okay. Yep, here we are, underneath the tree. And there is seemingly a ladder down, so... Yeah. Let's go. Let's go before, uh... Moxina follows me. Ah, who am I kidding? She's already down here, right? Um, so... Yep. Haven't got my resources back, unfortunately. It's quite a dark area. Maybe I can find a, a candle to pick up, or maybe another oil lamp. Uh, that's exactly what that is, actually. Perfect. And an energy drink as well. So what does that do? Oh, okay, that's 15 HP. I'll take that. And this is... What does this say? You already know. You can't escape. 
Yeah, I kind of figured as much. Mm, okay. Right. Now, what are these for? Again, can't actually read the writing on them. And I guess I'm not going that way, so... Um, over here, to the left? Yep. Yep, this is the way forward, I think. We got something over here? Yes, we do. Uh, more oil? Ooh. What's that sound? It's on the right side. Well, I don't really know. Hang on. Oh. Okay, pick up the box. That is a long way down. And it seems extremely shallow as well. Um, so when you said it was on the right side, do you mean... Hang on, let me just go back here. Ah, ah, yes. Okay, well, I, I guess these didn't work very well, did they? Right, through here. Oh, boy. There's also more gauze and more oil. Right, I might actually want to use the gauze. There you go, 89 HP. What the fuck? What is this? I can go to the right as well. Um, let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's go this way. <laughs> sort of running the gauntlet here. Oh, shit, hang on. No, you're not, Moxina. You tease. Look at this, though. What's this doing? Well, it's not stopping these from moving. Which way do I go? That way? Oh, hang on, is that? I think... Let's go this way. There's another one, I think. I can see it in the distance. Yeah, right at the end. Okay, maybe there's going to be many of these that I need to turn. Okay, I didn't miss anything along the way, I don't think. So there's that one. Let's go this way. Okay, yep. Made it through. Made it through. Alright. Again, found another one. That will be number three. Uh, oh, can't get up there, but I can go over here to find number four, and my objective's been updated. Okay, so... Naturally, I don't have one. <laughs> okay. Right, through here. There you go. Um, so, it's been just dead ends thus far. Maybe if I just go back. And then to the right, because there was another way to go, wasn't there? Yeah, through here. Well, there's two of them. Oh, there's, there's another one. My objective updated again. I wish it would tell me what the fucking objective was. <laughs> right. Um, first aid kit, probably don't need to use that quite yet. I'll wait until Moxina turns up again, I think. Oh, I, I got stuck on... <laughs> I got stuck on his legs. Um, well, okay, I'm just going to go back on myself, and I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the, the big gap. I'm wondering, actually, if we were you know, getting the water back in the area or something. Uh, yes, that, I think that's exactly what we were doing, right? We're raising the water level. So I can actually swim, can I? Uh, right, let's maybe combine with that to start with. Now I can sort of see what's going on a little bit. Let's go! Okay, yeah, turns out I can actually properly swim. Okay. Right, cool, cool. So, this way to go home? Or this way to escape the dream? This way to break the hypnosis? Well, it's this way out of the cave at the very least, but it looks like... It looks like there's another temple in the distance. Or something like that. What have we got? 
Okay. And wait, whoa. Huh? I'm on the dock? Y the dock? You know this place? Ah. Home sweet home. We're going home. Maybe finally we're going home. Uh-huh. All right. Getting a deja vu here. I'm back. I've actually got the same items, so maybe that was real. Or maybe I'm still in the dream. Mr. Huang? I think I know what you went through, sir. Oh, at least it's not fucking raining. Right. Is it going to be unlocked this time? Right. Everything seems the same. Apart from... I thought I actually took these away. Huh. The newspaper? Same story, right? Same article. No tape this time. That's probably for the best. No- Oh boy. Alright, well, there you go. That was Moxina, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Now, this is the part where I try and come up with an excuse not to call this a terrible indie horror game. And that might be quite difficult, honestly. Ah, uh, just a reminder, I did have to pay for this. It wasn't a great deal of money, but, you know, this wasn't a great deal of game either. And what it was, was very unpolished. It was very goofy. Very glitchy. Uh, it was a, a framework of a game, that's what I said earlier. It, it didn't feel finished. Um, some of the areas look pretty cool, like walking through the forest to find the temple, the giant tree. Uh, the beginning was alright, I suppose, but then I, I saw a lot of goofy things, a lot of unpolished things. I, I almost saw behind the scenes a little bit too much as well. The invisible barriers, stuff like that. It just... It took me out of it. I wasn't immersed. I, 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 the horror didn't work. Um, ultimately, this isn't really worth your time. It's a bit of a shame. Something like this, you know, about a ghost that lures you to the forest to mess around with you and, and, and make you eat excrement and stuff like that and then sort of dump you back in the world could be kind of interesting as a concept, but this isn't it. So, um... I applaud the developers' efforts for trying, but, you know, more work needs to be done. At the moment, yeah, this isn't worth your time. So, uh, sorry. Hope you enjoyed the video, though, and I hope to see you back in another one very soon. See you then. Here? I think I'm basically trying to break into people's homes. Yeah. Hey. Whoa. Okay, that... What was that icon for, exactly? What's happening? Whoa. Okay. Objective updated. Okay, I've got a secondary objective, which is nothing. Great. <laughs> because left is right, after all. Oh. Moxina, I assume. Bloody hell. I was really close just fiddling around with it, honestly. This way? I mean... Whoa. Okay. Doors open, actually. Okay. Surprise, su <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay. Ooh, glass coffin. Wait, that's my dad? He's a mannequin? Oh. <laughs> I got a little wave. Discover the end of the woods. Well, I'm... <laughs> I think I'm at the end and then more pop up. That looks like a very unsafe ride. This is a very peculiar game. That... Whoa, jeez. Towards where the noise is coming from. Uh, and now it's sewerage. Number four, and my objective's been updated. Okay, so... Naturally, I don't have one. <laughs> Mr. Huang? I think I know what you went through, sir. 